Hello, my friends. Today we're going to be talking about frogs, turtles, snakes, and alligators. And did you know that all their babies are, they, they hatch from their eggs? And this is a book about frogs. And when frogs are born, they are born from teeny tiny eggs. The little black dots that you see here are tadpoles. Those are the frogs. And when they hatch, they look like this teeny tiny little black things and they're called tadpoles. They have a big head and a long tail just like this. It doesn't look like a frog yet. It's called tadpole. They eat and they eat and days goes by. Their heads get bigger and they have a little tail and they swim, swim, swim. And then all of a sudden, do you see it? They have teeny tiny legs in the back. They're still a tadpole. They still have that tail and they're swimming and swimming. Days go by and they eat and they ate. Uh-oh, do you see it now? I see four legs. One, two, three, four. Now it looks like this and it's still a tadpole. Days go by and finally it's looking like a frog and it's called a froglet because it still has a tiny tail. And when it goes away, now it goes on the land and he hops and hops and look at his long, long tongue. I have a froggy that looks like that. That's how he catches his food. Do you remember Belle in our classroom? That's how she catches her food too. She sticks out her tongue and she catches a fly or a bug. And I have a cute book about frogs lunch. And it's like this. Here's my little froggy over here. Looks like Belle. And Frog was sitting on a lily pad in the middle of the pond. Mmm, that's lunch time, said the frog. <gasps> Along came a fly. Mmm, lunch, said frog. There's the fly. The fly was buzzing around. Bzzz. Frog sat very still on his lily pad right there in the middle of the pond. There's the fly. The fly buzzed and buzzed around the frog. Bzzz, said the fly. The frog sat very, very still. Bzzz, said the fly. Frog's eyes grew big. The fly came closer and closer to the frog and snap! The frog snapped up the fly just like that. Mmm, said the frog. Good lunch. That's how they catch the frogs. Yum, yum. So my friends, I have a little game for you that we're gonna be playing. Now we just did, sometimes I would do patterns with you, just like the calendar. I have something over here, and I have a different color frogs. I have an orange frog, I have a green frog, a blue frog, what's this color? Yellow, a red, and purple. So the game is, we're gonna do a pattern. I have a lot of tape over here only because they're not magnetic and it's not felt. So let's put a green frog since frogs are usually green. Green, orange, green. What comes next? You're right, it's orange. What's after the orange pattern? You're right, it's green. Just like that. Let's play it different, a little bit harder this time. Hmm, let's do purple, purple, red, purple. What do you think comes after that one? You're right, it is purple. That's what you call a pattern. And you could do it any different ways. And today, my friends, you're gonna have homework and you're gonna be practicing and doing a pattern. This is a caterpillar pattern. And it's in the first caterpillar, it's orange, green, orange, green. What comes next? You're right, it's orange and you color it in. Then you do the other ones. I'll be sending you another homework page. And this is with shapes. What shape is that? Circle, square, star, a T. What shape is that? A diamond and an arrow and you do the same thing with that. So that's your homework for the week. So I have an art to show you. I'm so excited about this art. 
we're going to do a snake. And what shape is this, my friends? You're right, it's a circle. Your mommy is going to help you by um, getting the marker. You're going to start in the middle, and you're going to go around. You're going to make a little spiral just like this. Just like that. We've done this before in the classroom. And you're going to get your scissors. Don't forget, thumbs up. And you put the thumb in the small circle and the other fingers and the big ones. And you start from here and you follow that line all the way around, just like this. Go all the way around. Now I had a lot of practice. That's why I could do this pretty fast. And the more you practice, the better you will get. Okay, there's my snake. And with a marker or crayon, you can make an eyes like that. And then what do you think what's missing? A tongue, you're right. So you get a colored paper, or you get a white paper and color it red or any color you want. And you're gonna put it just like this. And there's your snake, just like that. And there's your snake. Then I have a game. Last week we talked about bugs. Well, I have a lot of bugs and I have a lot of creepy crawlers over here. This is a game that you could play. If you don't have these kind of games, I'm gonna send you a paper with different kind of bugs on here. And the game is, do they hop? What crawls? What flies? And what slithers? So, Hmm, I think I'm gonna pick up this creepy little thing here. Ugh, it's a beetle, I don't like these beetles. What do you think it does, does it fly? No. Nope. Does it crawl? Yes it does. You're gonna put it under the crawl right there. Now, I also have a praying mantis. Does it hop or does it fly? Well, you probably think it flies, but it really doesn't. It hops really far and it lands like that. So he hops over here. I have something else. Oh, what is this? Um, this is my favorite one. What does he do? He slithers, just like a snake does. And you put him on this side over here. And what flies? A ladybug flies, and you put him over here. So you're gonna cut these pictures out and put it in the, in the correct area. And one more homework, it's another numbers. This is a frog, it says roll the dice, then color the matching circle. And I crossed out number seven because a dice doesn't have seven dots. And it says over here, then add one. We're not gonna do that. So you're gonna roll the dice. Whoop, make up your mind, there you go. And that's six dots. Can you find a number six? There it is, and you're gonna color it. And I see another one, do you see the other six? There it is, and you color that one too. That's your homework for the week. Have a wonderful week, my friends. We'll see you next time. Miss you.